Hello and welcome to another episode of Historical Churches here on SAR Histories where on the channel today we will be exploring St Michael's and All Angels Church, Tatenell, Staffordshire. The Church of St Michael's and All Angels is a sandstone building of the 13th century. It was substantially enlarged and altered in the 15th century. Then around 1890, the church was restored once more. The earliest evidence of Christianity in the area is believed to be a wheel-headed cross which was removed from the church and placed at St Mary's in Rolston on Dove during the 19th century renovations. This cross is believed to be 9th century and reflects early Viking influence in the area. St Michael's and All Angels was the mother church of the area and had been granted to Burton Abbey in 1323, which at the time was one of the wealthiest and most important abbeys in England. The dissolution of the monasteries under Henry VIII led to the dissolution of Burton Abbey in 1532 and control of St Michael's and All Angels passed to the Crown. Control then passed to the Dean of Lichfield in 1706 and finally to the Bishop of Lichfield in 1873. Translations of a Tudor will left by Richard Holland in 1539 have suggested that the church may have been known as St John the Baptist. Further evidence is from Reverend Charlton who pointed out in 1898 that Tate Wake was held on the 24th of June, the festival day of St John the Baptist. Inside was well maintained and it was great to get the opportunity to explore the interior which offers interesting features. The graveyard is unlike the church, which is well tended, and has been left to overgrow. Pathways have been mowed so that you can walk around the church grounds, but the headstones have been left to the mercy of nature. Newer and older headstones are mixed together and are difficult to get to. Those by the paths are readable, but those further away are almost impossible. Even the war grave has been left neglected, which is a sad sight and quite frankly deserves better as he gave his life in service of his country.
If you think that you might have ancestors buried here, it might be better to search the parish records, as the graveyard is in a difficult state to explore, with many of the older headstones completely overgrown and too weather-worn to read. If you have enjoyed this episode, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you all next time for more historical churches. Until then, goodbye.